BBC Radio 4 from Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia at en.wikipedia.org. BBC Radio 4 is a British domestic radio station operated and owned by the British Broadcasting Corporation that broadcasts a wide variety of spoken word programmes, including news, drama, comedy, science and history. It replaced the BBC Home Service in 1967. The station controller is Gwyneth Williams, and the station is part of BBC Radio and the BBC Audio and Music Department. The station is broadcast from the BBC's headquarters at Broadcasting House, London. BBC Radio 4 is the second most popular domestic radio station in the UK, and is broadcast throughout the United Kingdom on FM, Longwave and DAB, and can be received in the north of France and northern Europe as well. In addition, the station is also available through Freeview, Sky, Virgin Media and on the internet. Radio 4's sister station, BBC Radio 4 Extra, formerly known as BBC 7, complements the main channel by broadcasting repeats from the Radio 4 archive, extended versions of Radio 4 programmes and supplements to series such as The Archers and Desert Island Desks. BBC Radio 4 is notable for its consistent news bulletins and programmes such as Today and The World at One, which are heralded on air by the Greenwich Time Signal, Pips, or the Chimes of Big Ben. Section 1. Outline. Radio 4 is the second most popular domestic radio station by total hours, after Radio 2, and the most popular in London and the south of England. The station recorded its highest ever audience of 11 million listeners in May 2011 and was named UK Radio Station of the Year at the 2003, 2004 and 2008 Sony Radio Academy Awards. Costing £71.4 million in 2005 2006, it is the BBC's most expensive national radio network and is considered by many to be the corporation's flagship. There is no comparable British commercial network as Channel 4 abandoned plans to launch its own speech-based digital radio station in October 2008 as part of its £100 million cost-cutting review. In 2010, Gwyneth Williams replaced Mark Damaser as Radio 4 controller. Damaser then became Master of St Peter's College, Oxford. Music and sport are the only fields that largely fall outside the station's remit. However, the channel does broadcast occasional concerts documentaries related to various forms of both popular and classical music, as well as the long-running music-based programme Desert Island Discs. In addition, prior to the creation of BBC Radio 5, the station broadcast several sports-based features, most notably Sport on 4, and since the creation of BBC Radio 5 Live has become the home of ball-by-ball commentaries of most test cricket matches played by England, which are broadcast on long wave. As a result, For around 70 days a year, listeners have to rely on FM broadcasts, or increasingly DAB, for mainstream Radio 4 broadcasts. However, the number of those relying solely on long wave is now a small minority. The cricket broadcasts even take precedent over the hour news bulletins, but not the shipping forecast. Radio 4 has carried these regular weather forecasts for shipping and gale warnings since its move to the long wave frequency in 1978 because the long-wave service can be received clearly at sea around the coasts of Britain and Ireland. The station has also been designated as the UK's national broadcaster in times of national emergency, such as a war. If all other radio stations were forced to close, Radio 4 would still carry on broadcasting. It has been claimed that Radio 4 had an additional role during the Cold War, the commanders of nuclear-armed submarines believing that Britain had suffered nuclear attack were required to check if they could still receive Radio 4 and if they could not, would open sealed orders which might authorise a retaliatory strike. As well as news and drama, and despite a reputation for being middle-class and London-centric, Radio 4 also has a strong reputation for comedy, including experimental and alternative comedy, many successful comedians, and comedy shows first appearing on the station. The station is available on FM, in most of Great Britain, parts of Ireland and the north of France, Long wave throughout the United Kingdom and in parts of Northern Europe, and the Atlantic north of the Azores to about 20 degrees west. Medium wave in some areas, DAB, digital TV including Freeview, Freesat, Sky and Virgin Media, and on the internet. Section 2. The BBC Home Service was the predecessor of Radio 4 and broadcast between 1939 and 1967. 
It had regional variations and was broadcast on medium wave with a network of VHF FM transmitters being added from 1955 onwards. Radio 4 replaced the home service on the 30th of September 1967 when the BBC renamed many of its domestic radio stations in response to the challenge of offshore radio. It moved to long wave in 1978, taking over the 200 kilohertz frequency previously held by Radio 2, and later moved to 198 kilohertz as a result of international agreements aimed at avoiding interference. For a time during the 1970s, Radio 4 still carried some regional variations for parts of England not served by BBC local radio stations. These included Roundabout East Anglia, a VHF opt-out of the Today programme broadcast from BBC East Studios in Norwich each weekday, morning from 6.45am to 8.45am. Roundabout East Anglia came to an end in 1980 when local radio services were introduced to East Anglia with the launch of BBC Radio Norfolk. Until 1990, Radio 4's FM frequencies broadcast Open University, schools programming and the Study on 4 adult education slot at various times on VHF FM because until the 1990s, Radio 4 was not available on FM in much of Scotland, Wales and Northern Ireland. The launch of Radio 5 in September 1990 saw the removal of all three strands to the new station, resulting for the first time in the full Radio 4 schedule being on FM. However, between the 17th of January 1991 and the 2nd of March 1991, the FM broadcasts were replaced by a continuous news service devoted to the Gulf War, nicknamed Scud FM, again with the main Radio 4 service being exclusively on Longwave. In September 1991, bosses decided that the main Radio 4 service would be on FM, as FM coverage had by now been extended to cover almost all of the UK. At this point, opt-outs were transferred to Longwave, which are currently Test Match Special, Extra Shipping Forecasts, The Daily Service and Yesterday in Parliament. Longwave also very occasionally opts out at other times, such as to broadcast special services, the most recent being when the Pope visited Britain in 2010. Radio 4 is part of the Royal Navy's system of last resort letters. In the event of a suspected catastrophic attack on the United Kingdom, submarine commanders, in addition to carrying out other checks, would check for a broadcast signal from Radio 4 to verify the annihilation of civilization in the United Kingdom. Section 3. Programs and Schedules. Section 3.1. Daily Schedule. The nighttime feed from the BBC World Service ends at 5.20am with a brief introduction from the early shift continuity announcer. The five-minute Radio 4 UK theme, composed by Fritz Spiegel, followed this for 28 years until April 2006. It was replaced by an extension to the early news bulletin, despite some public opposition and a campaign to save it. After a continuity link and programme trail, there is a shipping forecast, weather reports from coastal stations for 4am GMT and the inshore waters forecasts, followed at 5.30 by a news bulletin, a review of British and international newspapers and a business report. On weekdays, Farming Today, which deals with news of relevance to the agricultural sector, is followed by the Today programme from 6am till 9am. After the Today programme, the schedule is then determined by the day of the week, though on every weekday there are fixtures. Women's Hour at 10am, You and Yours at 12 The World at 1, and a repeat of the previous day's The Archers at 2pm, followed by the afternoon play at 2.15pm. At 5pm, another current affairs programme, PM, is broadcast. At 6.30pm, there is a regular comedy slot, followed by The Archers. At weekends, the schedule is different, but also has its fixtures at various times. On or after the hour, a news bulletin is broadcast. This is sometimes a two-minute summary, a longer piece as part of a current affairs programme, or a 30-minute broadcast on weekdays at 6pm and midnight. At noon, FM has a four-minute bulletin, while Longwave has the headlines and then the shipping forecast. For the same reason... Longwave leaves PM on weekdays at 17.54. There is a news programme or bulletin, depending on the day, at 10pm. The midnight news is followed on weekdays by a repeat of Book of the Week. The tune Sailing By is played until 48 minutes past midnight, when the late shipping forecast is broadcast. 
Time in is said to be difficult as the sailing by theme must be started at a set time and faded in as the last programme ends. Radio 4 finishes with the national anthem God Save the Queen and the World Service takes over from 1am until 5.20. Timing is considered sacrosanct on the channel, running over the hour except in special circumstances or occasional scheduled instance is unheard of and even interrupting the Greenwich time signal on the hour, known as crashing the pips, is frowned upon. An online schedule page lists the running order of programmes. Section 3.2 Production Many Radio 4 programmes are pre-recorded. Programmes transmitted live include daily programmes such as Today, magazine programme Woman's Hour, consumer affairs programme You and Yours, and often the music, film, books, arts and culture programme Front Row. Continuity is generally managed from BBC Broadcasting House, whilst news bulletins, including the hourly summaries and longer programmes such as the 6 o'clock news and midnight news, and news programmes such as Today, The World at 1 and PM, come from the BBC Television Centre in White City. They were moved there in 1998, when the news centre was opened to house both radio and TV news. Radio 4 News will move to New Broadcasting House in 2013. The time signal, known as the PIPS, is broadcast every hour to herald the news bulletin, except at midnight and 6pm, where the chimes of Big Ben are played instead. Section 3.3 – Programmes Radio 4 is distinguished by its long-running programmes, many of which have been broadcast for over 40 years. Many programmes are available for a week after broadcast as streaming audio from Radio 4's Listen Again page and via BBC iPlayer. A selection of programmes is also available as podcasts or downloadable audio files. Many comedy and drama programmes from the Radio 4 archives are rebroadcast on BBC Radio 4 Extra, formerly Radio 7. Section 4. Continuity announcers and newsreaders. Announcers link programmes and read trails for programmes and for the shipping forecast. Newsreaders read hourly summaries and longer bulletins. Section 4.1. Senior announcers. Chris Aldridge, Harriet Cass. Section 4.2. Newsreaders and continuity announcers. Alice Arnold, Carolyn Brown, Kathy Clugston, Charles Carroll, Corey Caulfield, Rory Morrison, Susan Ray, Neil Sleet, Zebedee Zeb Zones. Section 4.3. Newsreaders, non-today programme and continuity announcers. David Miles, Carolyn Nichols, Vaughan Savage, Alan Smith, Diane Speed. Section 4.4. Newsreaders. Charlotte Green. Section 4.5. Newsreaders, non-today programme. Peter Donaldson. Section 4.6. Continuity announcers. Arlene Fleming, Jim Lee, Neil Nunes, Howard Philpot, Luke Tuddenham. Former staff. David Anderson, left to senior management but covered during the May 2005 strike. Bill Bingham, 1980-1982. Louise Botting, presenter of Moneybox, 1977-1992. Louise Bruce. Piers Burton Page, 1975-1977. Pauline Bushnell. Edward Cole. Andrew Crawford can still be heard announcing, I'm sorry, I haven't a clue. Matthew Exel, John Hedges, Anna Hill, left circa 2000, now presents Farming Today. Peter Jefferson, left 2009. Astley Jones, left 2006. Jonathan Lampen, Jenny Lane, Penny Latin, left 2004. Laurie McMillan, died 2001. Brian Martin, died 2009. Patrick Muirhead, left 2004. Jamie Owen, Brian Perkins, Ian Purden, now with the BBC World Service, Alison Roper, left 2005, joined Radio 3. Clive Roslin, left circa 1990. Andy Rushton, Test Match Special Announcer, 1998 to June 2007. Jane Steele, Moira Stewart, left 1981 to TV, now on BBC Radio 2. David Simmons, Catriona Young, now with Radio 3. Section 5. Frequencies and other means of reception. Radio 4 is broadcast on 92-95 MHz FM in England and from some transmitters in Wales, 95.8 MHz in central Scotland, 96 MHz in Greater Belfast, 
103 to 104.5 from other transmitters in Wales and generally in Scotland and Northern Ireland. 198 kHz long wave. Medium wave in some areas, 720 kHz in London and Northern Ireland. 1449 kHz in Aberdeen and North East Scotland. DAB. Standard FM content. Subsidiary LW content where applicable. Freeview Channel 704, FM only. The Internet. Windows Media Audio live streaming. Digital Satellite. Radio 4 FM. Freesat Channel 704. Sky Channel 0104. Radio 4 Longwave. Freesat Channel 710. Sky Channel 0143. Virgin Media Channel 904 FM. Channel 911 Longwave. Selected other cable television providers, also on various frequencies on analogue cable networks. UPC Ireland Channel 910 in Republic of Ireland. Talk Talk TV Channel 604. Section 6. Criticisms. There have been criticisms voiced by newspapers in recent years over a perceived liberal bias at Radio 4 across a range of issues such as the EU and the Iraq War, as well as sycophancy in interviews, particularly on the popular morning news programme today, as part of a reported perception of a general malaise at the BBC. Conversely, the controversial Muslim journalist Mehdi Hassan has criticised the station for an overtly socially and culturally conservative approach. This sound file and all text in the article are licensed under the Creative Commons Attribution Share Alike 3.0 Unported License, available at http colon slash slash creativecommons.org slash licenses slash by dash sa slash 3.0.